many of us uh, look at our, our roots as beginning in 1953. Uh, a physician practice group called McGregor Medical uh, Association was formed by a group of prominent physicians here in the Texas Medical Center. Happens to be the largest medical center in the world and probably the most renowned. Uh, McGregor, as it evolved through the 1970s and early 80s, the healthcare industry also evolved. And uh, what that led to eventually was healthcare insurance companies requiring healthcare providers to have certifications for their technicians and technologists, their knowledge workers within their organization. And McGregor was astute enough to realize that quality control was very essential uh, when this occurred. So they began to train their own technicians and technologists in the early 80s. Um, eventually, some of these, as, as word got around the medical community, that some of these technicians and technologists were crackerjack and uh, really in demand, uh, excellent performers with, with great skills and uh, incredible knowledge of their uh, of technical proficiencies. So that led to founding in 1988. McGregor Medical said, okay, we'll start a school and we'll charter it. They later registered it with the Texas Workforce Commission, which governs colleges, uh, universities, and schools within our state. Because uh, McGregor at the time was taking painstaking care to train the best and the brightest uh, of, of, of employees for its own right, as well as for other providers, it knew, McGregor intuitively knew how to train the very best because McGregor at that time and Academy of Healthcare Professions uh, were training for its, own, for its own use as well as for the use of outsiders. So we are College of Healthcare Professions, uh, which was formerly known as Academy of Healthcare Professions.